what is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things on the hermitcraft vanilla amplified stuff thing server i hope you guys are having a good day i am having a really better day than i will have been having in a couple of days because i am not sick anymore which is amazing um so just working on doing some different stuff and things oh i hope you guys are having a good day i think i said that just now but anyway i do i still do um yeah i've been sick the last couple of days uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. But yeah, we're just working on a little wheat farm. I noticed that in town, we removed the wheat farm. And I don't believe there is another one anywhere. So um, I thought we'd build a little one just out here for temporaries while we're doing this stuff. Because we need tons of wheat to breed all these sheeps up for a hump build hump. So um, that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to grow some real quick with a couple stacks of bone meal since we basically have unlimited. Which is a good thing. But, um, but yeah, I have been super sick, beyond crazy, the most amazing of sicknesses. If you guys watched yesterday's mod sauce video, which I have to apologize for because of how amazingly terrible it was, um, you will you have a, there's a bit of a, a insight into what I was feeling like. Um, but yeah, it was really, really crazy. Like, um, it was like five o'clock, uh, it was a couple days ago, two days ago. And I started like it like really quickly. I was fine. I like, felt fine. And then really quickly, suddenly, I felt really. I didn't feel good. Like within like five minutes, it was crazy. I was like, I really don't feel good. I feel really tired, and I just don't feel something's really wrong. And I went out to, on the couch, and I promptly fell asleep for two hours. And then when I woke up, I felt like I got hit by a car. Like it was crazy. I woke up two hours later, and I felt so sick guys i mean so amazingly crazily sick so and it wasn't like um a, a chest cold or anything like that it was all in my stomach uh and it kind of and a headache so this terrible headache and then my bones were aching like uh, it was crazy that night i went to bed i thought during the night i thought i was going to die i did i literally thought i was like i'm gonna i think i might die this is how like i just felt so bad but I didn't die. I lived. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go into detail or anything like that. Like, uh, fire hose from both ends for two days. But yeah, it was it was not good. Um, I lost. Uh, I weighed myself. I, I've been working out late, lately, doing some stuff and things. Trying to get a little bit healthier. Nothing crazy like I did a couple years ago when I was super crazy. I was losing like 10 pounds a month. But um. Yeah, nothing crazy, but I just did a little bit of working out, and so I've been weighing myself, and I happen to have weighed myself that day, the day that I got sick, um, and I weighed myself today, and I lost six pounds. Six pounds! Best diet ever! Super space sickness. Um, so, yeah, it's been pretty crazy, but I'm feeling a lot better. Like, I'm definitely back to, like, 80%. So, um, we are commencing with the Hump Build Hump project of 2014. It's almost over, um, and I'm really excited about it, cause, and so are the sheep, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Then, do you guys make a baby? All right, so a couple of times I've been breeding these guys, and the weirdest thing's been happening. I'll breed them up, and I'll get a baby, and I'll go off and do stuff and things, and I come back, and my baby's gone. Um, and I can't decide if it has to do with I'm accidentally hitting the water stream and drowning them, and I didn't quite pay attention, or if they are growing up inside a block, which may be what is happening. But, um, irregardless, we've got some sheeps in here. We're making them do the hump so that we can do the build. Are you getting your thing? Did you get your thing? You guys are going to do it? Make a baby. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. So, that is a good thing. And so, I got a second one built. I got a second one of these built. And there, let me say say goodbye to Peace You. Let me say goodbye to Zuljan. So, um, <laughs> Peace You. What? So, um, yeah, I got a second one of these built, and they take a good amount of time to build. They, they take probably, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, maybe, eh, 10 minutes. I bet I can get them down pretty quick if I start doing them consecutively um, and not take a two-day break between doing this one and this one. But, um, yeah, so we got our second one going here, and then that means we got one, two, three, four, five, six more to build. Not that bad. Um, I had to actually go... Looking around for iron. So how many do we say we need? Six more. We need 12 more buckets, which I think we have. We have 11. So I got to get one more, enough iron for one more bucket, which I believe I have. And uh, the funny thing about this is, is that that was the resource 
I was missing the most of. Um, you know what? We should probably put some lights over here, too. Just to light this bad boy up a little bit so that it has the maximum growth potential. So, um, but yeah, iron was the thing that I was missing the most of. Oh, we can't side torch. Oh, no. We can't. Oh, no. Can't do that. And then this is all wonky now. Ugh, now we got to fix all this. It's going to look so much better, though. Bam, fixed. So, um, yeah, iron was the thing I was running out of the most. And so I had to go doing a little bit of iron uh, collecting and got a bunch. Uh, but I think we're basically almost out, um, which is not bad because I think Tango is working on the foundry. So that's going to be a thing pretty soon, which means basically unlimited iron. So GG's. GG's iron. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and... We'll start, no, don't get out. Why did you do that? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me, sheep? Come in. They they all, like, path out now. They try to path out, I think. Which I don't believe they were ever smart enough to do before. That's right. Plug them up. Bank so you can't get out, buddy. You and me, we're doing it. That's right. Team me and the sheep. So, um, I don't think they ever used to. I might be wrong, but I don't think they ever used to be smart enough to know to, like, try to path out of an area. I thought they were always super dumb, but it seems like now anytime I open, and I don't think that the AI was updated, but I don't know. But anytime I open that, man, they make a beeline for that place. And I don't remember them ever kind of doing that en masse, but maybe they do. I don't know. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on some more of these pens. I'd like to get this up finished up today, and I feel like we can. I feel like that's something we could definitely do. There's a couple things in town I want to check out as well, um, and we're going to do that in a minute. But, yeah, all right, for now, we're going to work on this. BRBs! Me and D-Mac are having a staring competition. I feel like he's winning. Oh, I think he's AFK up there. <laughs> Anywho, so I got a bunch more stuff and things done over here. We've been doing the hump build hump plan. And, um, yeah, so I think we got seven inside of here now. Now, unfortunately, since last time I've done this, the mechanics of how the sheep work have changed. And it's, re it's just really unfortunate. I don't know why um, a lot of times these things change like this. but So it used to be that sheep would only eat when they needed to regrow wool. Now they just eat all the time. Um, and when I say it used to be, it was a while ago. But, um, yeah, it's just something I didn't really uh, foresee. So um, we really got to be careful how many sheep you put in here. I was going to put eight. I think I'm going to do six. Um, just because with with eight, what might happen... I got to test it out. But what might happen is they might be just... It might take them a really long time to grow back all their wool. Because they do need to eat to grow wool. But they also just eat in general. So six might be a better number. I'm going to test it out. Um, but I, th I feel like that was like a super silly mechanic to change. It just makes it so, you know, it's just kind of a bothersome change. So anywho, so there's some stuff going on over here in the spawn town. I wanted to take you guys over and show you. Uh, d Max working on his farm over here. So let's go ahead and head up and uh, we'll, dro we'll drop that slab for him. He keeps blocking off my stairway to get it back up to my house. I have to make a better way to get, get up and down here, I guess. So, um, all right, we'll head over here and um, we're going to head over to the spawn town, like I was saying, because um, there's something new that's going on over here that I want to hang out and check out with you guys. So hold up a sec here. I love, absolutely love, did I say that I love it? I love having a portal right nether portal right at my house that's pretty sweet man i think that was supposed to go near the town uh the crown hall or something like that but i don't know I, we might just keep it right there i said that a couple episodes ago but yeah that might be a thing all right so there's another santa hat there's this santa now there's two santas i'm pretty sure i don't know but this is like a santa how has what's a house and a hat mixed together hat house house Anyway, so here it is, and um, yeah, let's read the signs. Welcome to the Hermit Secret Santa Hat of Christmasness. To participate, please write your name on the paper provided, then drop it in the chest to the left. Come back in a few days once everyone has entered. Toppy. So Topmaster, this is really cool. Thanks, Toppy. Current entries, please add your name here also. All right, so we got to add our name to both places. So, and then we don't want to hit the button or anything like that. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and grab two pieces of paper. And let's squirt them in here. They're called paper. We don't want to call them that. We want to call them slip gators. Bam. All right. So we add one in here. And that goes into the Secret Santa thingy doodler. And we add one in here. Who else has signed up already? Azuma, DMAC, Zuljin, 
Jevs, Tango, and Top Mask. Everyone's got their things in here. So it's really cool. I love this hat too. This design is really nice. That's really well done. Very, very cool. So now we've got that. We've got this sign over here for, um, or this thing over here for uh, our Christmas from um, from Mumbo. And a lot of you guys were saying you couldn't hear the stuff and things last time. Can you hear that? I sure can. There we go. Oh, it like chipped us. We only got half a song. Jingle and jungle. Things are going under the tree and you'll open them. It'll be in a few days, but not right now. Stop. Leave that alone or we'll take it all away and that's a mean Santa. That's a mean Santa song. Why is there why what is that? Why is there a mean Santa song? <laughs> and we're back and I thought it would be cool if we built one of these completely from scratch together. Together. So let's go ahead and do that. Um let's go ahead and get a couple things going here. And we one, two, three, one of these. Ah, one, two, three, one of these. Yeah, like so. All right, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and build it, explain a little bit about what's going on, but not get too crazy intense and, and giving you like a complete hard tutorial on everything. But basically what you gotta build, something that's seven wide, um, and then you need a front part like this, so you're gonna put your two chests like so. And then we're gonna grab our hoppers and squirt two hoppers or a hopper on the back of each one of these like that. And take your wood, you go back 10, like that. So the, basically, it really is including the chest 11 deep. Like so. All right, so and then up here, starting here, you're gonna go up three. Now, and I'll explain something about why it's three here in a second. That's two, three, one, two, three. All right, and then we're gonna take and fill in the entire bottom area with dirt. So, uh, grass, pardon me, it has to be grass. I said dirt and I was wrong, it's all grass. All the way back to uh, the nine mark. Look at that, perfect. So, and then this back area, you're just gonna fill in with wood like so. All right, so then back here, you can place uh, your hoppers right there and right there. Um, and then we're gonna start do, uh, do building out the framework. So from the top here, you're just gonna build back um, to match up with the back like so. So we can build that up too, like that. And then these, you're gonna build all the way back as well and put no braces underneath them. Like this, these guys, you do have a brace on the ends, like so. All right, and then just aesthetically in the back, you can kind of do whatever you want. This is just kind of how I've been doing it because I like the look of how this comes out. So just something like that. And then in your front, again, you can do whatever you'd like. I've been doing like so. Just putting a couple of these like here and like here. Now on the inside, every other block, you're gonna build a little brace that goes up too. So basically, it's an uneven amount. Um, on the way back. So it doesn't really matter which way you start. It doesn't matter if you start with the wood or you start with an openness, which will be glass. Um, six or a half dozen, but it has to alternate. And basically, really, it's best if you have um, it set up in this fashion, the way I've got it right now. All right, so, oh crap, oh, we need glass. So let's go over and grab some glass right here. Uh, yeah, let's do the full stack. All right, so you're gonna fill this guy in with glass. And again, the, real, the reason why you wanna do that uh, in this fashion, it's because you've got to have this grass in the center so that it can feed the growth of all the grass once the uh, the sheep are all in the pen there. So, yeah, that's important. Don't forget. All right, so let's go ahead and squirt these down like so, and then squirt down our glass like so. And then the glass noise did glass make a noise ever <laughs> that glass isn't making noise and it never did all right so then we're gonna make a stairway up to here and then on this block you're gonna place down oh wait no not yet so we're gonna place down a plank right there and we're going to make a pressure plate um, all right now underneath 
Let's go ahead and squirt down here. Right here, we're gonna leave all this open, again, for that grass to feed. Um, down in here, is there really no redstone? What the crap? Uh, could have swore I had some redstone hanging out around here. There it is. All right, so down inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and place just a dot of redstone, right like that, uh, and then one of these, one of these, and two of these. So we've got our dot of redstone and our plank, then we've got a redstone torch goes right there, and then we're gonna go out like this. You don't need that. All right, so perfect. There you can see, now if we go up on this pressure plate, it's powering it in that fashion. It was amazing. All right, so now we've got that going on. Let's grab some planks, cover this up right here, and then we're gonna grab some fences. And in the corners, you're gonna add fence. I just do, this is again, mostly aesthetic work up here. It doesn't really matter exactly how you do this, but this is what I've been doing. So we're gonna fence back to here as well. Cut out a couple of these guys. And then we'll do fencing again in the center. And this is so you don't fall in with all your sheep, because that would just be, well, it could be good. If you like sheep, that's cool. I feel like it would be unfortunate. All right, so back in here, we're going to go ahead and start grabbing our sheep. Now, it's really best to do these guys one at a time. So you want to grab one guy, suck him back with your lead. Stupid sheep. Come back here, man. And then you're going to want to go ahead and attach his lead to the rearmost post. You don't want to get it any closer than that. Oh, it's beautiful snow. All right, so let's go ahead and squirt over here. Grab another guy. Come on back, homie. Nope, that's not what we wanted to do. It's perfect. And by perfect, I mean terrible. All right, let's go back and grab this other guy too. We might have to go sleep here just so we can get rid of this uh, super snow. Come on, buddy. Come on, ba man, Barry, John, whatever your name is. And we're gonna squirt that guy into there like so. Let's go ahead and add a couple of fence posts to the front there. And then we're, I'm gonna go sleep so we can see a little bit better here. But um, yeah, we need we need to get rid of that snow. Slipgator is now sleeping. Slipgator is now sleeping. And tick tock, tick tock, it's day. All right, perfect. So um, all right, these guys we're gonna grab our other two sheep back here, and then our pen will be pretty much complete ish. Let's just grab this guy. Come on, buddy. Come on out here, man. And then the reason I say to do this one at a time, um, I've tried to do it two at a time. It is hugely a massive pain in the butt. The two sheep will get jammed up when they're trying to come in. Um, it just doesn't, it ends up just not working out. I've tried several times, eight, uh, seven-ish. So it's been, uh, it's been a learning experience on that for sure. Come on back here. Now, the first time that I did this, keep in mind, the first time that I ever did this, um, this complete build was in vanilla like 1.4, um, and you had to do it with wheat, and it was a humongous pain in the butt. Um, way easier to do with leads, so thank you, Mojang. You're amazing with your leads. Are you gonna come up here? Come on! Sir, what? <sighs> thank you, Mojang. Come on, sheep man, let's get in here. You can do it, I believe in you. Yay! All right. So we got it squirted up there, and then now they're trapped. You're trapped. All right, so inside of here. Now we're going to dye these two last guys light gray and cocoa beans, and that's going to end up finishing up our stuff and things. Oh, do we not add water? Sweet! All right, so step uh, one and a half steps ago. Let's go ahead and grab your buckets. And you got to squirt these into your dispensers, or nothing's going to work right. So, all right, like so, and like so. So we're good to go there. Now we should be. So in order to interact with these sheep in any way, you do have to go ahead and turn on the water. Um, oh, also, let's go ahead real quick, and let's just pop our leads off, and they'll float down into um, our hoppers. So we want to go gray with these two guys, and then cocoa bean color or brown uh, for these two guys like so. All right, sweet. So now we can grab our leads back again. And I don't believe I have any light gray or brown. I do have brown. All right. So then the, the way I've just been decorating these is like so. Just putting up some of our dyed wool on the edges to denote the color scheme. Perfect. And then we will grab our shears. Let's go ahead and shear these guys 
So we have a little bit of these colors. And we'll turn that guy off. And we can just, actually this is my, that's my private supply. We'll go ahead and get some of these right here and squirt them up here so you can kind of see the finished product-ish. Hey Mumbo, what up man? Alright, now, oh yeah, we forgot one more thing. A couple more things actually. Let's go ahead just aesthetically, we're going to add these posts in at the top. And then we're going to start getting some light in here too. One of my big concerns for this build is that we got to make sure that there is no spawning going on. Now the front, these torches are really just kind of for aesthetics. But on top, it's a huge concern that we have um, a creeper free area. Um, so that's why we've added a bunch of these torches in like this. We just don't want there to be any spawning problems. And I do believe it, I, I'm going to end up working on this a little bit more and putting some sort of a fence or a wall around this area completely. Um, really do not want to have mob grief, mobs come over and grief it because it, it's quite a thing to set up. Um, and once it's done, it's great. It's awesome. It's super fun and it's super functional. But having to come back and repair it if something goes wrong could be disastrous. Or uh, at, honestly, just a massive pain in the butt. So I think we oh we huh huh uh huh better all right and that's the thing pretty much oh is there a zomboid so it's pretty much the thing now now I was taking a look remember I was talking last time uh, or a couple seconds ago <laughs> uh, about if we want to have or how many of the sheep you want to have in each pen two three four five six I like seven I like seven for some reason I don't know why I like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like seven's the perfect amount. Um, I don't know. I So I think that's what we're going to go with. We're just going to go with seven. So I continue to, I still have to uh, do the humpy time with these guys. Um, there's a lot of them that still have one or two pens in. Oh, we got to shut this water off. Um, but it's pretty much a thing now. We just got to go around, shear them. Um, we still have a few that aren't um, completely filled up with wool here because I didn't have enough of that color. So I'm going to take a few minutes. I'm probably going to watch a couple of YouTube videos. I've been hanging out watching X's videos and some of Zuljan stuff, some of the guys that dropped videos today. I'm going to go ahead and watch some videos. I'm going to shear some sheep and chill out, uh, do some humpy time breeding, and I'll be our bees, peeps. And bam, it's a thing. You kind of can't see the thing. But it is a thing that you can see, kind of. So, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I like the placement of it. Um, I feel like we have a little bit more work to do in this area, though. I really want to make it, like, pretty, too. You know what I mean? And all the snow, like, it just doesn't work. So we got some cleanup to do over here. Um, we got to go ahead and, yeah, let's fill this water in. We got some chests, some stuff and things we got to get picked up. But it's pretty much a thing. I got six to eight in each one. I'm going to go back and count in a little bit. You got to be really careful. One of the things I was finding out, and I, I don't think this has had to ever happened to me before, but when you breed these guys, if there is a baby sheep and the baby sheep is pushed up against this area right here while the water is flowing, when it bounces up for some reason, it takes damage. And I guess it must be, I don't know, it's going into a solid block somewhere. I don't understand what makes it take damage in this instance but whatever it, it does take damage so be careful if you are building in the this on your server um or whatever in your world when you're breeding them you got to breed them really really quickly and then uh turn the water off right away and let them grow uh before you go back and do any more harvesting but now we can't oh no oh no guys look away look away it's time to murder no you can't escape so all right we got all those guys taken care of too but uh, yeah, that's something to be careful of. If you're building it in your world, you got to make sure that you breed them and then quickly turn your water off. So that's the thing too. But my ideas as far as aesthetics goes, I really want to do some more aesthetic work in this area and make this look like more like a, a real thing. Um, and you guys know if you're watching me on Mod Sauce and stuff like that, that's kind of like my thing now. Like I've been really playing around with this. I'm not going to be able to move all this stuff, am I? I mean, we got stuff in wrong chests. Snowballs, who cares? So let's go ahead and squirt as much as we can in and we'll start making trips back but um yeah i've been working a lot on the aesthetic stuff and that's what we're going to be doing here too so i want to make like a whole courtyard thing probably drop this whole area down um and then raise it back up a half slab so that we don't get as much snow make a couple of little bushes areas and then also for safety's sake i think i'm gonna wall this off 
Um, put some sort of like um, probably a wooden fence up around um, the outside edge here just so that when you're up in this area it's really closed off and you can't get any um, creeper spawning basically. Um, the wheat farm we're going to tear down as well with something that we don't need. Um, it was good for us right here. And, you know, I was thinking about it. Wheat, <clears throat> wheat is one of those things that, you know, it's like wool. Like, it's like colored wool. You never really need colored wool until you need it. And then when you need it, you need it. Like, and that's why it's cool to have something like that on the server, in my humble opinion. You know, um, it's the same thing that we have with um, Azumavoids. Well, no. A lot of the stuff Azumavoid builds, you really need all the time so uh, that's a little bit different but um let's squirt some of the stuff back in here squirt 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 uh bam i also want to go back through and make uh getting off on a tangent hold on so um yeah stuff like um a wither skeleton farm that's not really something that you kind of just need once in a while you really need it to make beacons and those sorts of things and those are kind of essential for like next level vanilla um but something like a wheat farm um, you don't really need wheat until you need to do some breeding or something like that, and then suddenly you need a bunch of it. So I figure, I don't know, maybe we should get um, an automated wheat factory around. Maybe we could do it. I don't know. There's a there's a couple really cool designs for it. I don't know if it really fits back in here. We might want to put something like that. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I think Tango already did do that, didn't he? Let's go over to the spawn town and take a look at it. I think that's something that I missed. What up, man? You want to go? Fine, we're going. We went there. I won. So let's go and check out this wheat field, the wheat farm. I think he's got one of the um, automated ones over here, and I kind of had a brain fart and forgot about it. Somebody's going to get some nuggets. We'll give him back there. So I think he's got it over here on his cow breeding thingy doodler. Who's that? Mumbo. It's a wild mumbo. Look at the size of a. Sup, mumbo? Looking for colored wool? Have I got a deal for you? <laughs> He's probably AFK. All right, let's go down and take a look over here. He probably just went there. We could play a mean joke on him, but we won't. All right, so... Um, yeah, he's got these cabs, like compact animal breeders right here, all set up. And then over here, I do believe he does have a wheat farm. Yep, this is one of those, the handy dandy wheat thingy doodlers. You probably squirt your bone meal up in here, and then you stand right here with your seeds, and it becomes a thing. So that's for killing yourself, and that's for crafting things. So, um, but yeah, so we do have one of those, so that's good. We can tear down that wheat farm, and next time, if we do need wheat, we'll use Tango's cool design wheat thingy doodler. So, just red and white ATM. All right, right on. So I'll probably show uh, Mumbo the uh, colored wheat thingy doodle that we just built. But that's going to be all for today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and rest up a little bit. I'm still not 100%, so um, I want to make sure that I'm resting, and we'll get a little Mumbo in the background. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If it's your first time watching and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. Don't spam on the red peeps. Oh, ooh, crotch shot. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.